Hello world, this is Chris with Elevations. Doing a little explanation video today because a lot of teams have had problems with being disqualified because of shots going over the bar. Our Elevations team have had a lot of experiences with this causing disqualifications and I think this comes down to using rubber bands for the shooting mechanism. An important aspect of all competitive robotics is analyzing the problems that you're having. Specifically, looking at these rubber bands, we can see there's a gap between them, and I believe that's grabbing the rear of the disc and helping to flick it up, and then you have momentum going in an upwards direction. Specifically, watch this disc as it exits the shooter. You can see the second one, the rear end, is caught up in the rubber band. Now let's slow that down even more so we can really see what's happening. You can see that the first disc exits the shooter with the rear end still lifting a little bit but going under the bar like you would hope. Next, we can see the second disc exit the shooter in the same way, however a rubber band catches the rear end. This makes the rear end lift a lot more. Then, with the upward momentum, the rear end goes beyond the front and creates centrifugal force, making it go even higher. So now we have learned that we need to ensure to apply constant even pressure on the disc as we shoot it underneath the bar. This will allow it to shoot a lot more flat, and we don't have the issue with catching the rear during the shot and taking the chance of it going above the bar. Like and subscribe below so you can see the next video where we'll be showing the shooting mechanism utilizing wheels as opposed to rubber bands. As always, I hope you learned something, and again, thank you to all of our sponsors for making this possible in our competitive robotics teams.